Hi, my name is Dr. Christoph Acton. I'm a musculoskeletal radiologist and I help other radiologists to become confident and fast in MSK radiology. In this video, I want to show you how I achieve the results my students are getting, how I make them better MSK radiologists. But first about myself, I was trained in Switzerland and in the United States. And for the last eight years, I'm only working as a MSK radiologist. And most of the time I was in an academic center in Switzerland, in a dedicated orthopedic hospital on a university level. And this is also where I did most of my research. So I published 40 articles about basically a lot of different topics in MSK radiology. And then I did 18 of them actually as a first author. So I was very active in academics and in science and research. But then I switched over to teaching and it started off as a small YouTube channel. Then I started taking up students or fellows one-on-one -on -one with virtual coaching. And now my current flagship program is actually a virtual MSK fellowship where I help people from all over the world to become better MSK radiologists. So before I show you how that actually works, let me just give you a couple of feedbacks I'm getting from my students here. So this is my virtual MSK fellowship homepage. And if you scroll down here, you can see a couple of video testimonials of people that are working with me together for some time now. And some of them were uh, kind enough to actually provide a video testimonial. And so in this video, they tell you basically what they learned, what they think about the whole program, right? So let's have a look at maybe uh, Adam because he was my very first fellow from Australia and we can quickly have a look what he has to say here. Let me just play this for you guys. I'd like to say a few words in support of Christoph's online virtual MSK uh, fellowship program uh, which I became interested in after reading his book which was very practical and concise in its approach and over the last 12 months I've really enjoyed having Chris as my mentor and being in an environment where I've been able to uh, develop my learning and my approach to problem solving in this field um, through Chris's help and I recommend this to anyone um, who's looking to do the same. Thank you. So thanks Adam for that uh, testimonial or review basically and th there is more so you can go and check the other videos uh, on your own. I just want to show you here in our community portal a couple of feedbacks that um, I got. So for example here by Robert from Germany so he wanted to share the success. So he had a, a case, a special case, where he was able to provide, you know, the solution to his colleagues in that private practice. So he basically was solving the case because he had seen a similar case in our fellowship program. So he has now, the, his nickname is now Professor. So he was very uh, uh, keen on letting us know this. So that's great. So we always share our successes, right? Um, here also Marek is writing uh, a lot of things or so basically what he's saying that he is really enjoying the fellowship because he wanted to go somewhere uh, like abroad, I think Canada or, or Australia, because, you know, that's what people typically did in the past to get better at something. So you go somewhere where there's a lot of experience and knowledge and it was not, it was not possible due to COVID, right? So it didn't work out. So he was now able to join my program and he's uh, enjoying it very much so. And he's a frequent participant in our live Q&A sessions. He's very active and learning a lot. So he is also uh, sharing this here. Or we had uh, a couple of my fellows were already featured as radiologists of the month in uh, Collective Minds. So that's also something nice. Also, Denise, she successfully passed the subspecialization exam in Germany for musculoskeletal radiology and used the fellowship program also as one way to prepare for the exam. Um, Elena, she passed the European diploma in musculoskeletal radiology, also working with me together over a longer period of time. And then we have also, uh, where is it, <laughs> uh, Esteban, so he is also kind of like celebrating because he was working like every day for five years and I mean Saturday and Sunday and so he joined the fellowship program to become faster so that was his main goal with the fellowship so he joined a couple of months back and now he is able to actually have his Sundays off because he's able to do all the work 
that he had to spread over seven days now in six days and is very happy so he was having a small celebration with his family in the mountains and his boss is happy and we are now working on getting his Saturdays free as well. So you can see the stuff is actually working and it's really great to have this great group here and you can see we are currently 50 people in the program and this is our community portal. So how does this whole fellowship actually works? And basically it's a mix between video lectures and a live Q&A component. And so what we do is we have our community portal here. And you can see we meet twice every week on Tuesdays and Fridays currently where we actively discuss cases. So the people in the program, they upload cases and then we come together in a group meeting online and we open the case, the fellow presents the case, asks the question, we have a discussion and we try to solve the case. And we do this twice a week. So it's a really great way if you have unclear cases or you have just this tiny doubt about any anything really, you can just come into the Q&A and we resolve this issue. And if you continuously do it, this is a great way to get feedback, right? And you also learn a lot from other people's cases, obviously, as you can imagine. So you can see we are 50 people currently in the program since I started in August. So it's quite a like a great international group already. And it's really great to have all these great people here. And also we are discussing uh, some off topics, certainly. You can see we have a community portal here. So people are introducing themselves. We share literature, people are posting cases, even here, just to get feedback from the group. Uh, if they are maybe not attending the Q&A session for, you know, if there is a conflict in, you know, in schedule or something like that. We have also the classroom and in the classroom there is different things. So we have fellow presentations as a, this is part of the curriculum. Basically at the end, you kind of like have to do a presentation about the topic. Um, I did the webinar about speed, how you can increase. So I uploaded this here as well. And we have the Q&A archive. So you can see starting in August, I was recording every single Q&A session all the time. So every single session is recorded here. So there's a lot of video and you can see it's always the timestamp in the video the description of the case, the link to the case, and the questions really. So if you want to go through, let's say wrists, you can just easily type in TFCC and then you will see all the Q&A sessions where TFCC was actually a topic. And then you just go in there and try to solve the case and then watch us having the discussion. So this is a great way to learn on demand on a particular topic. And this will only get better the more cases we discuss, right? So it's gonna ultimately be this big archive of frequently asked questions. So it's a great thing. Um, when we go back here to the, to the fellowship, you can also see there's a calendar and here you can always see what's happening. So these are the Q&A calls at 8.30 p.m. This is UK time and 3 p.m. on Tuesdays and Fridays. Uh, when I did the webinar, it was also posted here. So you kind of like always get any events that I'm doing and I'm posting them here. So this is the Q&A and the community portal, but we also have the actual course and you can see that here. So the course homepage is actually what you would expect from maybe a more traditional learning or learning platform. This is basically uh, where all the recorded lectures are. And you can see it's divided into nine modules. It starts off with, you know, some general ideas, concepts. You can see here, why is MSK different? How you can improve like general level, then some resources and how to actually participate actively in the Q&A session. So you don't have to be afraid of, oh, I don't know how the, you know, the technical side of things works, how to extract cases, how to upload cases. It's all provided here. And then you basically have all these different, you know, uh, joints to go through. And last week is then how to actually speed things up, how to continue learning and learn by teaching. And there is an evaluation as well. And also you get 25 credits uh, for this part of the course. So it's also good for your continuous medical education, right? So who do I actually work with, right? Who is joining the virtual MSK fellowship program? And basically there is a, a broad range of people who are joining for different reasons, actually, from, you know, being a young attending or consultant that didn't have the exposure or the teaching opportunities to learn MSK and is now facing an increased workload of MSK and is having doubt or is maybe not very confident in doing his daily job or even like experienced radiologists that just want to kind of like get another edge 
or even just wanted to push themselves into something new, like they were doing maybe more breast imaging or you know some other field and now think that it's time to learn something new in their last part of their career. So basically everything in between. I don't work with residents preferably because I think as a resident you should actually focus on your board exams, you should get the broad knowledge of the whole radiology world, like not just focus on MSK right now. But if you have done your board certification and even if you're not working as a consultant, it's still a good idea to consider the fellowship because you don't have to worry about the other stuff anymore. So this is where you would traditionally go into a fellowship, right? So that's probably the earliest moment you should consider joining. And yeah, it's really great. The best thing about the whole thing, it's currently coming with lifetime access. And this is not something you can get somewhere else. So if you join now, you basically get unlimited, unrestricted access without expiration dates or anything like that. So you're not pressured into doing this stuff in six months or 12 months. So you have all the time in the world to actually develop your skill Come to the Q&A sessions on a regular basis. Don't feel bad if you miss one. That's kind of like the reason why I'm having it like this. So it's a really a great program. And if you want to know more about it, if you want to have a chat with me and just learn about in more detail how it actually works, if you have maybe some questions about it, then you can click the link down below where you can schedule a strategy session with me where we have a discussion on your expectations, kind of like what you would like to get out of the fellowship, and this is important for me so I can learn what you are actually looking for. And if it makes sense, like if I can actually help you or if I can provide what you are looking for, then we have a discussion about how everything works. If it sounds like it's not a good fit for whatever reason, then I would tell you so on the call and there's no hard feelings or anything like that. So that's why I'm having this call. So also not to have people in the program that then are ultimately maybe overwhelmed with the amount of stuff that they can do or they thought it was something else so that's not what i want but if you are interested in really leveling up your msk game then this is the way to do it and yeah click the link down below i'm looking forward to your call and yeah see you there